Hello. Welcome to Stochastic Calculus for, for Finance 1. This is section 1.2, the multi-period binomial model. So what is this multi-period binomial model that we're talking about? So just as before, we have a stock price that is worth S0 today, all right? And just as before, in a one-period binomial model, the outcome of the, the, the change in the price of the stock will depend on the coin flip, all right? And then here, like since it's multi-period, we keep tossing the coin. And whenever we get ahead, the stock price goes up by a factor of u. And whenever we get a tail, the stock price goes down by a factor of d. So here we get, this is like where the stock price would go if you get head, if you get tail. And then we keep tossing, this is just the outcome, the possible outcome from the first one cost. Then we keep tossing the coin again. So we can get head twice, so the stock price will go up to use square as zero now. Or we can get like a, a head then a tail or we can get a tail then a head and it will still lead to du as zero and we can get tail twice and it will go down very much to d squared as zero and this is very very simple again we can start talking about also we can introduce the concept of interest rates in the money market and just as before it just means that if you invest some cash today it will grow if we will go to that amount of cash plus some interest rate for each period um, very simple and with this then we can start talking about no arbitrage pricing when we have still this relationship to hold and if you're wondering where this relationship is actually coming from uh, I would suggest checking out my previous video in section 1.1 about the one period binomial model it's, that's a very important video, and it's a very important to understand the one-period binomial model before we try to understand the multi-period binomial model, all right? Before running, learn how to work. So, okay, so what, let's look at the option pricing problem here. So suppose we have, for example, these previous parameters that the stock price today is S0, the up factor is 2, down factor is 1 half, interest rate R, and we have now, a, let's say, like a European call option with a strike price of 5. And we can exercise the, the call option two periods from now. So now we, this is, we're looking at like a two-period uh, binomial, binomial model. And I have built the tree here for us to see. So this is the tree as before. Um, so this is the one period. But now we keep tossing the coin so it can go up to 2 times 8, which is 16. And these are the other values in uh, depending on the outcome of the coin toss. And as before, the, the the main question we have: what should be the price of the option today, given the information we have? So we want to find the the, the value of the option V0 today, given the information we have. So we don't know the price today. We don't know the price one period from now, but we actually know the payoff of the option because in each case we know the stock price if we get hit twice. And we know the strike price, so we can find the payoff. So given this information, how can we find the price of the option today? And again, we're going to use arbitrage pricing approach, which is based, which is based by replicating the option by trading in the stock and in the money market. All right? Very simple. And if there is no arbitrage, the price of the option should be equal to the value of the replicating portfolio. Just as this is exactly what we did in the one period binomial model, right? So I will just bring as a reminder some important uh, concept that we, we developed in the one period binomial model. So if you have like a, a, a derivative security today that we don't know the price, but we know the payoff for the, of the derivative security, right? We know this value uh, and we know this value, right? So these are the payoff at maturity. And we, ha and we assume that we have no arbitrage is holding. Then we develop that the risk not pricing probability is just this. And if you look at this carefully, what it tells us is for any derivative security in the, in the one period binomial model, if we know the payoff in a case that coin toss result in a, in a head, and we know the, the, the payoff if uh, the coin toss result in a tail, then we can use this formula actually, right? to find the value of the option today. And that's all That's all what this uh, risk not pricing is, is saying. And we actually showed uh, how to derive this, right? And we know also how to find these, these guys. Like we know how to find the P 
in the queue. These are just like a function of things that we all know. We know the interest rate, we know the down factor, right? And we know the up factor. So we know everything that we need to know uh, to make this happen. And this is going to be very helpful when trying to uh, solve the, the multi-period uh, uh, derivative pricing. So I put the formula here below, so just we can keep reminding it. So this is the formula. So let me put that in here. So this is just the formula. And so to press the, this option and find this price today, we can actually look at this multi-period binomial tree as like a set of single period binomial tree. And what I mean by that is that we can, for example, start here. Let's just look at this guy, all right? So this is a one period binomial tree. We know the payoff here at the end. We know the payoff here at the end also. So directly we can apply this, uh, this was not, this not a pricing formula that we developed in our previous video. And using just this formula that we can find the value of the option in the case here. So let me just call this, uh, let me just call this X. And then we can come and look at this guy also. This is also one period binomial tree, all right? We know this V2, v, V2 TH, we know this V2 TT. These are just the payoff of the ocean at expiration. Those are well known. And again, we just apply this formula here and we can find this, the price here, VY. Let's call this Y, for example. And once we know these two, these two values, then again, we can just look this now, we are back to like the one period binomial, uh, one period binomial uh, model, right? We know the, we know, we know X, we know Y, and we're just wondering what, what is the value here? So again, we can just apply the uh, recent type pricing formula. We know P, we know this value here, this is just this guy in this case, and this value in the case of tail is just this guy in this case. And then we just take, we know R, we know, we know everything. So we can find this value here. So, and this is going to be just the V0, right? The value of the value of our option, right? Just, this is just V0. So we just shown that basically, if we understand the one period binomial model, that the multi period binomial asset pricing is very easy because we always know the, the payoffs at the end, right? So we can start from there and then look at all these guys recursively as some set of one period binomial trees. And once we find these values here, we can just look at this also as a one period binomial tree and then find this, this thing here. So it's very simple and that's all. And this actually works as well for very complicated, uh, for complicated derivative securities. It works for like European calls, puts, look back, and many other type of securities that you can think of whether they are path dependent or not. And this is actually why people also like using the risk neutral pricing because it makes it very uh, convenient, right? And computers are very good at dealing with trees also. We can implement this in the computer program very easily and use that to price some options and many different type of derivative securities. All right, so there's like this theorem 1.22 and this definition 1.23 in, in the book. Uh, and long story short, really, what all they are trying to say is that we can do, we can do exactly what we did in the previous, in the previous slide, right? Just recursively, you can just recursively look at this thing as just like a set of one period binomial trees. And using that, we can uh, essentially price the option today. Um, yeah, so that's that's all that's all I want to talk about about this section, and thank you very much for watching, and we'll be moving to the next video onto the chapters too. Thank you, and see you later. Bye bye.